because architecture is the important stuff that's often hard to change. And while we maybe don't have to be so vigilant about cognitive biases in every little thing that we do every day, whenever we're making a big decision that is potentially hard to change, then we especially want to take a step back and be aware of what might be going on. And if we constantly assume that we're being totally rational, then that can prevent us from learning from our decisions. Outcome bias is our tendency to evaluate the quality of a decision based on the outcome of that decision. So what does that mean? Um, or what, why is that a problem? So three, four years ago, I was on a team that was using React for the first time, and we were looking for a framework to um, implement the flux pattern with React. And for those of you in front-end development, you might be aware that these days, uh, Redux is basically the de facto standard to do that. But at the, at the time, there was another alternative called Reflux.js. It's a very unfortunate name. Maybe that should have been a sign for us. <laughs> so we were evaluating those two things, and we were trying them both out, and we actually liked Reflux better, so we started using that. In the meantime, reflex is hardly maintained anymore, and you could come in and say that was a bad outcome, right? Because now we're using a framework at the core of how we're building our front end on that team, uh, but it's actually not being that maintained anymore. There's less community around it than Redux and so on. So it's a bad outcome, but can you really tell anything about the quality of the decision based on that? We often say, oh, it was a bad decision but maybe we should differentiate between outcome and decision, and that's very hard for us. Another example, uh, whenever we decide to use a technology because we, just out of a gut feeling, because we heard a speaker at a conference talk about it, or our sister-in-law's cousin works at Netflix and they use it or something. And we use that technology, and it's actually working out really well for us. So we're like, yeah, great decision, but was it? It's a great outcome, but was it a good decision? 